Hi guys, it's Gareth here, aka Rookie, and welcome to my Friday vlog. Well, hey! So guys, um, let's start with my week. Um, basically, after I finished recording last Friday's vlog, I got a message from an old friend of mine saying he was going to a gig in the Wedge Rooms in Portsmouth to see Manchester Orchestra. Never heard of them before that? So I said, yeah, let's go along then. So I basically jumped in my car, drove all the way down there, basically let the video upload, said all upload, and went out. Um, got there, what was it, um... Trouble parking my car, um, because I don't do a lot of parallel parking these days. Um, I do now because I basically forced myself now because of this instant. Basically, I'm trying to power park, I just couldn't get my car in. I end up having to curb it, so that means basically I put the two wheels up on the curb. <coughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna my face going. Sorry, one second. <coughs> yeah, so, um, I did that and yeah, the gig was actually really awesome. It was such a cool gig to go to. Um, I really enjoyed my time there. Was it um, good to see my old friend I haven't seen for a while? Um, it was a really good gig, and I really do recommend going and seeing them. They're a really good sound, really unique sound, especially the way they're touring, because they're touring with um, Kevin and also with Black Books, which is a mixture of Kevin's uh, Kevin and the extreme, and the extraordinary gentleman. And um, all and uh, Mark Sherrill Street basically just merged together to make another band. It's a really cool sound. So basically, if you like a Manchester Orchestra, they're free worth going to see because basically you get all three band, <laughs> you get to see them like more than once. Um, and then after that, was it? You know, it was it was a good good night. Really, really, really good night. Um, I'm getting a lot of comments recently on my YouTube videos. All of them spam comments. Um, basically there are other channels saying oh really enjoy your video can't wait for the next episode guys and then was it uh, if you have a chance watch my wa watch my videos so basically he's commenting on my videos to basically so I post that comment or reply to that comment so therefore you get traffic to his channel so anyone who posts on their channel saying on my video saying oh check out my channel it's just, it's just going to go in spam because it's in spam saying this is spam and I just click the delete button and it's done so much spam comments you know it's, it's just unbelievable it's just like all of a sudden happened like this week um something that, something that made me feel a bit sad this week was um a lot of my friends on twitter were tweeting about how they're going to go and see tonight alive i think the glasgow show i, I think it was about i'm not going to see them it's kind of sad i really want to go and see them um i would go and see them in the wedge room like they just mentioned but that's all sold out so unfortunately i can't go so that's really upsetting um, but yeah, so, but yeah, anyway, on that, I went to another gig on Saturday, I, um, so basically, I went to the Alt Club Third Festival, which is basically in Salisbury Arts Centre, which is an old church, why they call it Alta, as in Alta, um, basically, yeah, it was, it was, um, it was a good gig, I mean, foes were playing, they were the opening band, um, they were really good, I really did enjoy them, I think, thought they were really awesome, sounded a lot better every time I see them. Again, so much better. I can't wait for them to put out the uh, EP so I can buy it and then be able to listen to it all the time. Um, but it was a really weird night because a lot of the bands were playing music I wouldn't even go and listen to. Um, some of them were alright, some of them were terrible. Well, I say terrible, but it's because I don't like their music. They probably were really good for their for their genre, but it just weren't. I mean, you know. And at one stage, was it? I did think about leaving, but I'm glad I didn't. Um, because there was basically there was a female friend band, and the last two gigs I've gone to before that. Um, basically, I hadn't seen a female-fronted band, and I didn't realise how much I prefer female-fronted bands, especially when it comes to like sort of rock-type music. I think they give a better overall performance. I'm not saying that guys don't give a good performance; it's just they seem to have a better performance. They're more interactive with the crowd. Whereas, like at Case in Point, now was it when I saw on on that night? Gaz Brookfield was the was obviously the headline act, right? And rather than seeing if, if the crowd were going to sing back, he just he just assumed or made them sing back whereas a female fronted singer would say right okay we're going to practice now and do that little bit first you know say this is my bit and then this is your bit so the crowd know when they're going to sing and what they're going to sing and if you're a bigger band they already know but you know he's not a big band as such you know yes of course he's had name but I really did enjoy was it um, then the band's name by was um, not epic boo generation I said on my video <laughs> uh, I think I got the, the name right uh, was it in the description below but it's actually uh, Echo Boom Generation. Really good band to check out. I think they're based in London, although I think their basis, she's from Salisbury, that's why they were playing there. But yeah, London was an American, uh, is their lead singer. So check them out. Um, they're really good. I really do suggest you go and check them out. Um, but the thing is, though, because I went to three games in three days, I noticed on Sunday my hearing has gone a bit, a bit, had gone a bit funny. Not like, um, like I was deaf, but things didn't quite sound right. So that's not a good thing. 
Um, so yeah, so that was really kind of thing. So I think I'm going to go buy earplugs for, for November so I can wear them to gigs to protect me. So I just got to figure out which ones I'm going to buy, whether I'm going to buy those rubber plastic disposable ones or whether they're going to buy them like permanent ones which i can use which i'll have to look into it and I'll probably buy some this weekend offline hopefully they come um so, you know, i'm going to talk about a few upsetting things now so be, bear with bear with um basically one of my favorite bands follow you home like a, i'll angle the camera up to their poster you see those guys there with my fat head out the way see the guys at the top there yeah Unfortunately, they won't be able to fulfill their last gig date that they were going to do in the new year. So they basically refunded everyone that cost the tickets. Really upsetting them. They're never going to play live again. I really did enjoy watching them play live. One of my favourite bands that I've ever seen play live. Uh, one of my favourite bands, really. Of, you know, and they're not going to be playing anymore. It's it's upsetting. Hopefully, the guys will obviously take up in another band and play. But yeah, so that's up. Uh, that's upsetting. And now I'm going to talk about some other more upsetting things. Um, basically, um, all the stories are coming out about YouTubers basically sexually assaulting or sexually harassing their fans. Um, basically, obviously, you guys watch the news. You guys are more in more in tune on these things, but you know who the guys are. But I, because all this stuff that was coming out, I went and looked at the dark place of um of the internet, e.g., chat rooms and forums. And basically saw so many different stories about other YouTubers as well. Most of them I've never heard of, which is probably a good thing. It means I probably have good taste in YouTubers. Um, but, you know, it was like... Uh, these stories, hopefully they can't be right. I really do. And if they are, I hope people come forward and bloody do something about it. Uh, going to something more happy, yeah. Obviously, the um, American football season started a couple of weeks ago, which I obviously... I love American football. It's probably the ones why I really like watching. Um, I don't get to see what, much watch it because I don't have Sky Sports. So I get the one game on Channel 4 and the highlights on Channel 4. Um, but because it was obviously being that it's a Wembley game, they show it, show it live, so that was quite good. I got to see that game instead of having to watch the game like at midnight or whatever it starts and basically record and watch it. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. It was good to see see the game and I really, 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 really hope that perhaps the UK gets an LL team because I may actually go and see them, depending on the cost of course, because if the cost it is the moment then probably not, because that's quite expensive for, for what it is. It's good as a showpiece, I think, to go there, was it, you know experience it, because I've done it once, Chicago Bears, my team, they came over and played so I went to see them um, yeah, so a lot of you have probably noticed, uh, that's like oop maybe I shouldn't flip the camera, so I know which side to point, but yeah there is a lot of beer cans there. That's because on Tuesday this week, I played the co-optional po podcast drinking game. And I stupidly, very stupidly, tweeted at them the um, the basically a picture of the the basic rule set. So then obviously they knew, and so therefore, you know, it's like, drink, 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 drink. So yeah, I got a little drunk that day. As you can see, if you can't count there, there's 10 cans there. Please note I did not drink all 10 that night because that would be irresponsible and drunkenly foolish of me. But I drank five cans, which is quite a lot in one, in a three hours three hours drinking session. I should have drunk more, but I basically stopped because I was getting <laughs> really bad because I was really drunk. It's like yeah, let's just stop. That was at four cans, like in the first like hour. So then after that, I just went. You know, I drank one in the last two hours because I was really drunk. Wow, that's really slow of me. That's really pathetic, actually. No, I drank all ten. I drank all ten. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's idiotic of me. So I got really you know mustache itch me. Um. This beard also, whilst I was switching it, um, I'm going to have to trim this. Uh, basically, because I look like a hobo when I'm wearing my suits and stuff, so it's going to go. I'm going to basically trim it down to make it look a little bit neater, so I look a bit more respectful at work, because unfortunately, that's where you earn my money, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, on that, on something amazing that I've done, I've ordered my gaming PC. So I should have a gaming PC before long. Well, I've got to put it together first, but that should be with me. Within 14 days, I should have all the parts. And then, so maybe a weekend, then putting it together. So by the end of October, I'll have done, and then I'm not going to be here for two weeks because I'm going to go follow bands on tour. Hey! Although, something else that happened to me this week is um, basically I stalled my car. It's basically because the problem I've had with my clutch is getting worse, and I'm going to have to go and get it checked. I think that I'm going to do that this weekend, take it somewhere that does a free clutch check, uh, or maybe have to book it in for that. I'll get it checked out and see if they can uh, 
see what the problem is and see how much it's going to cost to replace before I actually do go and replace. That's going to cost me a lot of money. Yeah, um, just a few other things. Going to just you know, there's not much left. Really, my week's been kind of a little boring, but kind of good. Um, people basically at work, um, basically talking about you on the phone. You know, obviously it's not in a bad way, but they're like, you know, you hear them like Gareth, and you're like, what? What about me? And then you try to listen to the conversation. It kind of freaks me out a little bit, you know, because people are talking about me. But yeah, that's the way it goes. Um, also at work, we've got this thing called a cloud, basically, like, you know, was it um, a cloud memory type thing, but it's for us, to, like, you know, like we transfer type thing, you know, so we can send people drawings and um, information stuff in a secure way, so we, it basically doesn't actually leave the UK, and it's basically, the cloud's actually our server, I believe, or a partition of our server at work, but I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, so that's, um, that that's basically, basically what happened, oh, Almost forgot. Um, I I saw my friend um, last night. I basically I haven't seen her in a while, but they they lived from the well just up the road from here, really. You know, ten minutes in the car. Um, I went around there for Team Biscuit last night, which was really good. It was really good to hang out with them and just chat. And we chat about crap basically for like three hours. It was great. I enjoyed myself. It was good to see them. And hopefully, I get to see them more often than I do. But you know, sometimes it's my own fault for not making the effort. And the reason why this video is probably going to be uploaded late is because I've offered to give another friend a lift tonight to take them take them out so they can basically go to um, a birthday party. So um, I'm trying to record this really quickly. That's why I was checking my phone earlier because I thought I saw a text from them, but not yet. So I'm now going to go. I'm going to edit this video and hopefully start upload before I go, so it'll be on normal time. Otherwise, it's just going to be late today, guys. I do apologize, but no matter what you do, no matter where you go this weekend. I hope you have fun. Bye.